Yeah, hello folks off YouTube. My name's Ian and welcome to me garden. Well actually it's Kathy's garden, but I'm allowed to scrap in here tonight. Merely because I can't get this big bag in the shed. So it has to be stripped tonight. Stripping it's easy. We've had a little peruse and we dip in the bag and pull out a handful. I've an idea which is which, cause nickel coated copper. And copper, copper. So little ends go in that. Oh, I'll get them all over my knee. Like that. Start taking the ends off. Oh, joy of joys. Right, you can stop that now, you love. You got all that now, yeah? Yeah. And then it's just spin it around. And do the other end. Rinse and repeat. And then. Once I've got this big bag empty, and Mrs. will be happy. Happy wife, happy life. Isn't that right, darling? Yes. <laughs> Come on, let's have a big hand for me, camera woman. Right. I'll carry on doing this. I might be a while. This is relatively just easy. It's just spin it round. Cut it off. Oh, hey, winner, winner. Just don't make sure I don't. Hey, winner, winner. Just make sure I don't stick my finger in that hole. And else I won't be able to well, pick my nose afterwards. I'll be like that. The neighbours will be looking out saying, what is that guy in the striped uh, T-shirt doing? Well, I've emptied my sack, oh, pardon the expression, and uh, I've just got this handful of nickel-coated copper ones to go in that box. I've got this bunch on my knee to strip, and then... I've got that lot to run through the wire stripper because this is a, uh, I said this was a test and it's, it's a test for a guy and kind of <sighs> proof of concept. He has been white, he, he has been weighing this in as household cable and I've told him he's bonkers for the time I estimated uh, the lot or well, the whole lot, four hours. I've been at this one hour tonight. Uh, I'm gonna say another hour to strip those. Similar, another hour to do that, and another hour to strip that. So I'm gonna be right about four hours labor time, I think. I'm keeping track of it, I'll be reporting to him this is going to the old anvil yard on friday and we'll see what we get till then carry on stripping in the garden well there we go from here i can just see the clock quarter past eight i started at quarter to seven so an hour and a half but of course some of that was getting set up for filming uh, sorting it out my hands like throbbing <laughs> it's got it's had a good workout to tonight my hand uh, see if i get a blister there right what i need to do now is uh to relocate to the shed and set up the uh the wire stripping machine I'll see you a lot 
in there. Okay, doke, a little bit of faffing about um, with 25 to 9 in the evening. We've made a little space in here. We don't need a lot of space, do we? Because we're only stripping wire. We need space for some, well, in this case, it's cider. I drink cider when it's very hot. My stripper. I'll need a bag to put the waste in and a bag to put the copper in. But just a quick glance at these and we can see that the smaller ones all right sounds obvious this but the smaller ones are thinner than the bigger ones so we'll go probably get set up for the bigger ones as you know you've got to do some fine adjustments with these things uh, run all the big ones through then run down tighten it up a tad to go down to the smaller ones i have tightened this up Maybe you can see this out. Tighten this down till it's just touching. When I run it, it'll it'll revolve. You can see it revolving, and then while it's revolving, I have another another drill which I whiz along, touch it on the edge to sharpen it up a touch. So we're freshly sharpened. All we've got to do now is do some fiddling and get the sweet spot. Okay, we've done about three pieces on a test and I'm not 100% happy. Uh, we've got the depth of cut spot on. However, hmm, however, I don't think that's as sharp as it could be with this white stone. So, uh Time to get my stones out. Hey now, you put your dirty man back in the gutter. I have a box of stones and of different grades. You see them there? Where, 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 where's, the, where's the lens? Yeah. Uh, but look, I'll put me in, put my hand in and get me stone, get a handful of stones. There you go. One of those will be uh, suitable enough. And all that. Because I use it regular, as you can see. So, I'll just, I think because I had it running against the base, it's obviously metal running against metal. It's obviously going to dull it. I didn't think it would dull it that much. It, te it seems to have. So, I think we're down to actually manually stroking, stroking it until we get what we want. Sooner or later, this is this is going to have to have an overall. I think maybe even fresh burrings put in the minute. I can feel a bit of stiffness there. <laughs> yeah, this conversation is just going down the gutter in it. You know, uh, right? When you get fed up of doing one side, you can give her some nice little strokes. On the other side. And all these things, right, more press the way through rather than cut. From the angle I'm looking at, I can actually see the light shining off the top. Now, when you can see the light shining off the top, it means there's a flat. It means you've not got it sharp. If it was a point, you wouldn't see the light shining off. Anyway, we'll get it something like, and then we'll just... See how it goes? Let's get a fat one and stick it in. See how we go. got a big crease in there so with a little slit at the end I 
it's going to purr easy enough. Like I say, there are these manual ones. I'm saying manual, even though I've got it on a cordless, it's still a manual machine. That'll go in there. We've tightened it up a bit more. Because it's, 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 you know, it's like a bug's dick. It's just like that, you know. You just got to get it right. See, not happening. Still not happening. Yeah, it's happening. Still not happening. I mean, still it puts a hell of a crease in that you can easily not easily, you can pull it apart, but we don't want can, we want easily. Especially in this. Right, try that if that's any good. I'm just going to crank it down and see what happens. Right. You can see it. Can you see that? We've got it now. And once you got it, you got it, babe. I don't know. It's hot in this shed at the moment. Very hot. See, look at the difference. What a difference a foam makes. Now, we're not doing a lot tonight. We're saving this treat for tomorrow. There we go. It's just easy. Once you get yourself tuned in, Very easy. Right. Go on, one more. Why not? <laughs> you all probably know about these things if you've got one and that's getting the first inch in is the hardest yeah i wonder if i can show you that from this i wonder if i can show you that from this side yeah we've got a bit of light on the matter i can't yeah, I can. Right, is that a better angle for you? I think so. Right, so we've got a light down there, shining up there. You can see I've removed all the girding. I did go and make that adapter when I was doing a different type of cable, a thinner cable to go straight through to stop it skipping either side. But with thick stuff like this, I don't need. I come up, come up from below like that so i'm coming in quite low at a steep angle but in it going and this drill this uh, 40 volt ferrix aldi drill doesn't really have a slow start it's a bit of a straight kick off so i've got my thumb down here up here and it has once or twice it's gone in quite quicker than i can get it out the way uh i've just sharpened it so i don't want to make it down there so my thumb out the way once I get it in, I can hold it down almost at 
Not 90 degrees. 80 degrees. Let it slide. Get some grip. Grip in, grip in the in the gap between the you know you know what I mean. Get a grip between there and let it slide through. I mean that gives me a nice a nice easily open slit. Hey, you can get arrested. But because you can't grip the end, you don't get the same sort of <laughs> penetration. Oh, Ian, stop it. So, that makes it so easy. Right. Right, so, right, it's now 9 p.m. So even that couple of minutes footage I've just shown, I've just filmed, has taken me 20 minutes. Because that's that's what happens when you, you're filming on YouTube. Everything you do takes four, five times as long. However, we're set up sweet. So I <laughs> promise I wouldn't do any more, but it's very therapeutic, especially if you Everyone that whips through and you're thinking, ooh, that's a pound in money or, or in weight. So I might just finish this bunch on my desk and we'll finish this off tomorrow. We'll get off to the old anvil yard. See Ellie, see Ian, see big Ian, little Ian, Ian, Aaron and Mark, the gang, Robert, of course. And uh, we'll then we'll do some math and see whether... It's worth telling the guy where I got this from. Or to put another, put it another way, it was, put my bunny where my mouth is. I said it was worth it. He said it wasn't. We'll do a time differential kind of thing. And, uh, oh, and by the way, we left one of these with the ends on. So when we go to the yard tomorrow, we will show Robert one with the ends on and say, look, if I'm going to take in something like, 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 like that, that is just household cable. But if I'm going to bring in something like this, will it get a better price? We'll see. I don't know. Don't forget, I'm a hobbyist scrapper. I don't do this for a living. I don't know everything. There's a lot I don't know. And uh, I stick to what I do know. And uh, it might be a surprise. It might say, oh, yes, there's a separate grade for that. It's much higher than uh, household wire. I'm, I'm not quite as... Uh, may, maybe it's higher than singles. But not as high as number two. I don't know. We'll ask the question tomorrow. Which will be too late because we will have stripped all that by tomorrow. But that, that, the bit, there's always going to be more of this coming. And then it's a time thing. It's If I'm going to get... Ah, let, 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 let's... Let, 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 let's throw some figures out, just per se. Signals, singles is around about three thousand two hundred and fifty pound a ton. Singles. Burbright is probably around six thousand two hundred pound a ton. Or, or, or we should say, double. So if we was to get five thousand pound a ton and not strip it, is it then worth stripping for that extra thousand pound a ton? We'll only know that when we go to the scrapyard tomorrow and ask those questions. Here and now, live. No, not live, but here and now saying it to the camera. I don't think so. I think that's just household. 
I think that's all they'll give me. He, I think house all as thick as it can be. He's, sorry. I think no matter really how thick it is, they're a bit like a casino, aren't they? The house is always on their side. That, that, that's their business. You can't fault them for it. And they're going to look at that and they're going to say, no, that's household cable. Actually not. Looking at that, of course, it's only singularly insulated, which means that should go in as sing singles, as singles, singularly insulated. So that should come round about £3,200 a tonne, weighing that in as it is. But I know my mates, oh, slipping out though, slipping a bit there, aren't I? I know the guy has been only getting household for this. A bit naughty. Until he rightfully asked me advice. Right. Five past nine. I'll just do a couple more. See you tomorrow's. Well, we don't know when to stop, do we? So we we just carried on and on and on. We've just thrown it on to a big pile on the floor. I'm gonna say the big ones at least. I've got it down to a fine art. I've got my technique and it's 12 to 15 seconds from picking it up to picking the next one up. If we say 20 seconds, makes time for a, a little drink in between. Three a minute. Not bad. I can work out then just how long it should take. Hmm. Tell you what. Video's gone on long enough. I'll upload this tonight. The weigh in we'll do in another video tomorrow. Right, see you all. Take care. Good night now. Well, it might be good night for you, but I've still got all this foot put away. Uh, we've had to put a torch on the matter. <sighs> Joy of joys. Well, there we go, folks. It's 10 pm and in the evening at night time. Uh, we finally show it. We can finally settle down for a bit. So we need a swizz round. We need a glass. Because when we was in the shop today, we bought a bag of wine. Yes, a bag of wine. Mimo Mutins Portuguese Red Blend. It was on offer. Uh, £6.99 for one and a half litres so two bottles worth of red wine for seven pounds now i know if you're in the spanish countries as i was in spain mainland spain about two months ago that would only cost three euros two euros two or three pounds and i've paid three times that but that's that's by the by, but thinking about that, that's come all the way from uh, Portugal. The, the clues in Portuguese. All right, it's not come over in a bag. It's come over in a shipping container with a big bag in it and 50,000 litres inside of it. Because on here, it'll probably say uh, bottled and bottled. In Portugal, imported by Aldi stores. It's not exactly been bottled, has it? <gasps> Consume within four weeks. I better get going in. You can't just have wine on its own, can you? So let's have a little bit of. Uh, I've been saving this all week. Smoked cheddar cheese. Not a lot left. Uh, Bowls of chocolate. And that's it. Definitely see you all over the weekend. Well, when I go to the scrapyard tomorrow. Good night.